That's what an English breakfast. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Good morning, my name is Victoria Rose and I am in London, England right now and today is a day that we're going to do a video about the culture of England and that is basically just doing, eating only very British food for the whole day. Um, we already have breakfast planned out, this is going to be a homemade breakfast from an actual British man. Johnny is going to make the English breakfast. We're going to do this vegetarian style. I don't normally actually eat breakfast and I'm not even hungry. <laughs> I look like I'm ready for an adventure. My Airbnb is very messy. I'm in Airbnb right now. I have to move out actually this coming week. I don't have anywhere to go yet, but it doesn't matter. Our priorities are elsewhere. It's raining like usual. Fuck. It's raining. Yes. It's raining. Hi. Okay, so we're here at Johnny Knoll's kitchen. So today we're gonna to make the simple English breakfast, right? From a legit English man. And he also cooks, it's really nice. So this is what you can expect, weather-wise. He's making some coffee. We got eggs. This is the, um, I've had the English breakfast once when I was first here, and they have sausage in it. So this is vegetarian sausage. They have bacon, but you can replace it with halloumi cheese. <laughs> Which comment below if you guys know about halloumi cheese because before this I'd never even heard of it. And then baked beans I feel like is a staple for the English person. And then toast. Hey, don't so do that. You are, think about a grat in your mouth. Are mushrooms normally in it? Yeah, oh yeah. So this is what we're going for here. It's just a big meal to have for breakfast. I don't understand it. What are these little black things? Oh, they, they're black pudding. Oh, I, yeah, I was stream. It's like pork blood. It's just blood, yeah. It's the most gritty to grit. No. This is like a whole supper for breakfast. Well, I think it's more of a, it's more of a hangover cure. Thank you. He's a man, he's a man, and he's a man, he's a man. Yeah. This is an experiment, baby. No, I don't want her. Yes, you do. There's a little bit of flavor in your fucking breakfast, man. Come get fat, guys. So get ready for Tory body. Cooking. Huh? You really enjoy cooking? Love it. Good. What's your favorite dish to make? Huh. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you be surprised? It's a filling breakfast. No way! It's very coincidental that we're doing one right now. This is a process. Sorry, man. You know me, I'm used to be all about the core sea salt up today, we need some shitty table salt. Just reminiscent of. I don't know how to turn this heat on. It's too hot, but it works. Cook the top of the egg just like that. So they are plated now. And that's what an English breakfast looks like. We wanted to be as authentic as we could, so we're eating out of the rain. <laughs> First mm. taste test. Is it good? So cold. <laughs> it has been sitting for a while. Those sausages are fire though. Wow. Yummy. Protein in the morning. Oh, that's good. Yes. Oh, that egg looks strange, man. <laughs> yeah. But you would say it's pretty good. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> pretty good, right? It's good. Straight out, nearly into the back of the car. She's not even looking. That would have been the worst way to get hit by a car, just walking yeah. into it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are on our way to a pie and mash shop. This is day two because we didn't get to finish it yesterday, which was annoying, but we had issues we needed to fight about. <laughs> so I'll update you on that later. So that's where we're going right now. We're still in Greenwich. 
and the adventure continues. Um, we're just gonna say this is a day even though it's the second day, but I couldn't actually fit it in yesterday anyways because that breakfast was way too big. Okay, so we're out here in the bustling I city of Greenwich and we are going to the Goddard's Pie Mash place. Uh, comment below if you've ever had pie mash and comment below which meal looks like your favorite food. <laughs> So much more than I... Right, let's actually see. Okay, oh, veggie soy and onion Liquor. pie. Perfect, perfect, that's that what then. we want. Oh, you can go inside here. Yeah, we can eat, are we gonna eat in? Yeah, we could eat yeah, some of it in, it. if that's okay with you. You can actually eat inside. Which is weird. Um, because we're in tier two, <laughs> but whatever. We got vegan gravy and so you can see the inside. Actually, you can cut it off. Look at oh, look at that. Ooh. That is nice, though. That's so nice. It's a good technique. <laughs> you use the fork and I'll just chop. <laughs> it's really good. I don't know why he's saying it. What is it? What's more than that? It's nice. I can't believe the gravy's, uh, the gravy's vegan. Isn't it? The gravy's really good. Highly recommend. Goddard in Grand Grand. You have the last one. Yeah. No, you eat it. I know how hungry you are. So that's the Cuddy Shark. Stark. <laughs> oh, look at this view. The Cuddy, the Cuddy Shark. Sucky cock. <laughs> Slutty. Slutty fart. <laughs> Wait, you have to help me down. Oh, you're gonna fall oh, down. Fine, go. You're gonna fall. No, it's not, I'm not gonna fall. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I can't rest. Hit the bow, hit the, whoa, an uber. What? That's so. Guys, look, you can Uber in a boat. That's... Ah! So, this is a vegan steak bake. That is bloody good, mate. <laughs> bloody fantastic steak bake you got there, mate. Oh, wow. Come here. Have another bit, darling. No, no, no. It's basically the same as the pie. It is, though. But in a bake. But it's t I think that, that tastes better than the pie. Really? It's at Greg's. So this is from Greg's. What's Greg's? Greg's. Greg's I'll tell you what Greg's is. Is it a British 7-Eleven? Greg's is... I don't know what 7-Eleven is. They don't have 7-Eleven here? No, no. Oh. So I'm sure we have bakeries. Yeah. Greg's is a well, well-known British bakery. Fish and chips! That is so ridiculous. So we're having a problem here. We can't actually find any vegan fish. Not yet. We didn't find any um, vegan fish, which is fine. But it's very important that we eat the chips here. We actually asked someone earlier. He and did. And I said, have you got any vegan fish? I filmed it actually. But oh, you filmed? Oh, did you? I don't know if it, it got oh. you talking now. I asked him for vegan fish, which was stupid because I'm assuming all fishes are actually vegan. And then he made a joke and made me feel like a prick. <laughs> oh, oh, he actually meant like the fish was vegan. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> he was like, he was like, uh, well, yeah. And I was like, no, you know what I mean. <laughs> I already felt like enough of an idiot asking for a vegan. <laughs> She was so English. She was like, "What do you mean a vegan fish?" I was like, "I'm so I'm, 
I'm really sorry about that, sir. I'll, I'll leave now. <laughs> I'm going. So we are ordering from Uber Eats because we tried to go into one, but they only accepted cash and I don't have any cash. So I think it only is fitting today. We went into a restaurant. We made some ourselves and now we're going to do the final step of ordering it. Mmm. Look at that. Those are chips. I actually think I had some some like this They're very in New Zealand. There's nothing like a chip shop chip. You've never had mushy peas. Mm -mm. Well, I'm not a fan, but you can actually use them as dippings. So this is some mushy peas. Basically, it's pea smashed up. Tastes like peas. <laughs> potatoes and peas. A lot of potatoes today. What was your favorite one? I really like the English breakfast because we made it and because it was so much variety. So, leave a like, comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay terrestrial. And I'm going to get fat off of all these fries, chips, I guess you call them. And maybe we'll find some vegan fish somewhere. Okay. Mm. Goodbye.